love live streaming but want to look more professional? Watch this video for a walkthrough of Ecamm Live, software that will change the game for your live streams. For the best blogging advice, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video every single Monday. If you're struggling with live streams and baffled by tech, by the end of this video, you'll be able to hit the ground running, being confident that your next live stream will look amazing. I use Ecamm Live so often, and it really does help you take your live streaming up a level. Hi guys, I'm gonna give you a walkthrough now of Ecamm Live, which is great software for Mac computers to enable you to go live on Facebook with a few more bells and whistles than Facebook itself allows. So we've got the options here. So this is what happens when you go into Ecamm Live. You download Ecamm onto your computer and then obviously you go in and you would have a thing on here saying like log in. Uh, obviously I've already logged in, so you just connect it and it just goes through like any app so it's really super easy to to connect it up. And then you'll see a few things. So when you, obviously that's the go live button. There's three main things that you can do in terms of the screen. So obviously I can click the, the camera and that's gonna show me as it is now. I can move across to this one, it'll show my desktop and you can go down to this arrow here. I'll just move this out of the way. And you can select you know any application you want or whatever you've got open. Um, and then you can go to here and play any video. So it'll just open up a thing and it'll let me select a video from you know my thing. So if I selected this one and then opened it and you'd get my daughter opening her birthday present. Um, so it's really handy to be able to do that and switch between, switch between this different screens that you have in the different videos, and especially to play live, you know, to play pre-recorded video through Facebook Live is really handy. You can also get another piece of software that connects basically Skype to Ecamm so that you can do picture in picture if you were say doing an interview or something like that. I haven't actually got that, so I'm not going to dive into that today, but it is a, it's a possibility if you get this extra piece of kit to go with that. And again up here you can pick whichever camera you want, you can pick whichever microphone you want, um, so it's really easy. So there are often a few different places that you can find the same thing, which is quite good. So obviously here, up, up here, we can find the video files from there, or we can click on here and find it through here. I can also set up different scenes. So for example, up here, if you see, I've got me on screen, and I can add whatever I want into it, and then it will literally enable me to set up a new one or a video or whatever I want to set up. So if I've set this one up already, but it'll go to that video. So I don't have to queue anything up when I'm halfway through a Facebook Live. Um, and you can see it's got a few extra graphics that I had on when I did my last Facebook Live like this. But again, if I went to, I went back to me on scene, so I've just added this random image, but then this will go into that scene. So again, if we go back to me on screen, then this is with all the things I dropped onto that one. Then if we go onto that video, it'll be the video, and then if we go up here and go onto the new one that we added, as you see, it will go back and just add that. So what you have to do is put all of the things you want to be on the screen, and then decide that you're going to make that a new scene, for example. So obviously I've already done that um, for this one. So again, we can go back to me on screen, I'll bring up the bottom banner, we can go up to video, and we can go back to the new one, which should be the thing over there, because I just moved it, okay? So if I wanted to add something else, I would add something else, and then I would say, okay, that's my new scene. So all you can see, the, you've got command one, two, three, so you can toggle as well. So if we go back to me on screen, and I toggled command two, it would bring up that video. And obviously that's much quicker than doing any of the options through here, etc. And then I just did command one to go back to me on screen. So it's really handy to be able to set up different screens with these different thing elements on there and then just be able to toggle between them with your keyboard. It's so, so simple. So another thing that you see here is this, I left this up because I wanted to show you, but when we go live, so what we do is we would put our description in here of our Facebook Live. So we'd be like, blah, 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 Facebook Live. And then when you've logged in, it will give you places that you can share your broadcast to. So I can share to any to my profile, any of my pages, any of my groups, um, set up an event and, and sh share to there. 
and I can also do live like right now to go live or I can do a scheduled live so let's show you what that is I would then copy the description I have already put in and just pop it up here I would then pick an image which I can pick from anywhere so whatever just pick your, normally your face or whatever and then you can set the schedule so you can do it between 10 minutes and seven days so if you wanted to go live at 12 we would just about make it but if you wanted to go live at 5 2 you'd have to go live at you know at 12 you want, you can't do sooner than 10 minutes unless you just go live without being scheduled but what it happens if you're if you're scheduled and if you click this button and it automatically puts a notification out onto Facebook so people can click a button to be notified when you go live so that's really handy um, the other thing is when you've got people on the live, so obviously we haven't at the moment, but this box will start to be filled with people. So people's comments and their hearts will all show up here. And what you can do is under each comment it says create overlay. And if you click create overlay, this is what happens. And the people at home that are watching this, from wherever they're watching it, see this, see this comment. So they've just pinned it. So this is what was for an offer code that I had. Um, and that's really good at, you know, it, increases engagement and it makes people feel that they're really you know valued if you put their comment up and it's just great if you want to get rid of it you can press the cross or you can just anything if you just swipe it off the screen it disappears so again I'm going to just pick that up and I'm just doing it by clicking and moving on mouse pad and get that away so that's most of Ecamm Live it's so handy it's unbelievable and it's so intuitive as well so you can see my mic there my sound levels you so you saw I just had some overlays, now how you do it is you just go to overlays and again you can do that a couple of ways, so you can go up here or you can go over here and do overlays, but either way it's it's really simple. Um, you can show the overlays window, so if you've got ones you want to you know click between and you want to see, um, again I can just click this eye and they come back on, um, which is kind of nice, you know that you can have them just again, you could put them in a scene so that you would be toggling to them uh, and that's another really easy thing to do so obviously I can create them from here as well we're just going to shut that window for the time being I'm going to create them up here so we're going to new image overlay and that will open up your computer so you can pick any single thing you want again you just select something open it drops in it drops in absolutely huge um, you just press command and minus to make it go smaller eventually as small as you want and then you can just re you know just move it anywhere you want on the screen so that's how you do the image overlays then you can do text overlays and again that just brings up basic so I normally put my Twitter handle in so that or my social media handle so that's always there and you can change you know these fonts or um, the colors I've got the brand colors in there um, apply a shadow or not background whatever center it not center it you know all of these options um, add that in and then I would literally just pick it up and move it again I can make this bigger or smaller exactly the same way as I've done before or I could go in and change it here and make it you know a different size slide this up whatever um, I normally find just keeping it the same and moving it with the plus and minus is really easy so I normally have that up there but you can have also you can do an overlay of a countdown so for example if you do a pre-show party so if you do your Facebook live at say noon but you want to go live at 10 to to get people on before it's technically the time then you can say okay this is my thing starts at 12 but I'm gonna you know I want to have this pre-show party and that's already worked out if I add that that it's going to be that and then you can put your image above that that says you know your overlay above that that says pre-show party and then you can write in your text on there pre-show party add it drag it up above your thing so that people know that we're counting down to something this is not your broadcast started or if you're doing like a webinar based thing where you've got maybe a product and one of the bonuses is expiring you can um, do your timer then as you can see 
there you go and you can move that bigger or smaller move it anywhere you like it's literally the simplest software you will probably ever use um, and the most convenient there's so many things you can do with it so for example if you were do for picture in picture so obviously I'm on the screen here but if I shared my screen but I wanted to still be on the shot in the in the picture I can go here and see where it's you can see that I can click that and then I come up here so you can do picture in picture whereas you can then do round which looks quite cool or you can do any options that it gives you here so classic wide round tall tall's pretty good if you've got lots on your slide and you want to show people more of that but you don't want to be off the screen there's literally so many options that you can you can disallow embedding all of these things that you can just basically play around with but most of them you don't actually need um, you can change your stream size so if your internet is a bit shonky um, you might want to make it lower so that you've got you're taking up less internet basically and less is you know, less of a beast but I just always leave mine on uh, 720 and you what will happen is if this is ticked every single time you go live it will record your broadcast which is actually really handy because uh, what happens is when we try and download our Facebook Live from the internet, it's the, it pixelates sometimes and the quality is not that great. So what you're getting when it records like this directly from your computer is the, the perfect version. So that can be useful for editing it, chopping it up, all different kinds of things. So it's really good. But if you don't, if you've not got space on your computer, if you just untick that, then it would literally not happen. It would just be on Facebook. Um, and then you can change where you have that downloaded to and everything that you can imagine. So it is so easy to do to use this software. It literally is just a case of clicking around, use this tutorial, but it literally won't take you long to get used to it at all. And considering the software itself is $29 and that's a one-off fee, it's not per month or, or anything like that. So I pay a lot more than that for software that is not as good as this, I don't think, so um, for different things. So, And the, the team are really, they're always striving to make things better, like this comment window used to be in, in the screen and you didn't used to be able to move it, which is really handy, and the time is relatively new, and there's a few things that are new things, so they're always innovating and coming up with extra things, um, and luckily for us, they haven't decided to increase the price yet, so it's a real it's a real thrill to have this sort of software and um, I hope that's helped and I hope to see you on Facebook live with your Ecamm live soon bye so now you know exactly how to use Ecamm live and you can see what it can do for you and your live streams but how do you know if your live streams are structured properly for maximum benefit don't worry, I've got a free cheat sheet for you called How to Rock Your Live Streams, and you can get the link to that below. Also, if you want to join a community of women just like you, I have a secret society where I share up-to-date blogging tips and business advice to help you turn your blog into a business. So if you like this video, please let me know by liking it below, subscribe to my channel, and share this with your friends, and comment helpful if you found this video helpful. See you soon.